Do you guys have a loop? Do you guys have an electrical panel that needs to be labeled? Maybe a circuit or two that you don't know where it goes or what it powers? Well, I'm going to share with you a must-have tool that made my life way easier when I finally decided that it wasn't such a pain in the ass to label my electrical panel. <laughs> Tim here. Welcome back to the workshop where we create community, find freedom, promote preparedness, and share success. It's Wednesday, which means it's time for another edition of Tool Time Gear Reviews. And this week I've got for you the Klein Tools Circuit Tracer model number ET, that's Echo Tango 310. So as I mentioned in the intro, I had an electrical panel that we had our electrical redone a few years ago and it wasn't labeled when it was done. So for about two years since we bought this house, I'd been putting off labeling the electrical panel. And I looked up every redneck hack on the planet for doing it and making it easy. And I finally decided it was worth to bite the bullet and spend uh, $65 Canadian on this little tool right here. So I'll show you what you get with it. <laughs> First off, it's pretty easy. So you get this right here, which doubles both as a circuit tracer. So you plug that in to an outlet and it sends a signal down the line. You can also use this as a tester. You plug it in, push the button, and it'll tell you whether GFCI is uh, properly wired, properly grounded, defective, whatever. So there's that piece right there. And then you get this piece right here. And what's cool is so you don't lose them, they plug into one another very sturdily. So you plug this guy into a circuit somewhere in your house. Then you go down to your electrical panel and you click your light on like that. It beeps kind of annoyingly, but that's okay. You go up and down your circuit board, or sorry, your, your panel until it finds one. Turn that off now. And when it does, it'll beep faster and faster and turn red. And when you get a solid, uh, like almost a solid tone with the red light, you know that you've got the proper circuit. So write it down. Uh, I got a whole video on how to properly label your circuit board, your circuit panel. But today we're just talking about this tool right here. This thing was a huge time saver. I ended up using it to, I have three floors in my home. I ended up using this guy to uh, label all by myself two floors worth of circuits. I ended up using my daughter on the third floor just simply so I didn't have to run up and down and change this between plug and plug. It works. It I. I for me, it worked absolutely great. Now, key piece of advice when using this, I mean, it's so simple, there's really no owner's manual that comes with it, but what do you get in the package? This, this, and uh, you know, my cursed nine volt batteries. I hate them things to death. I wish this took two double A's or triple A's for my rechargeables, but for what it's worth, it is what it is. So it comes with a throwaway nine volt battery, and then you just go and use it. The biggest complaint, if you go online and start reading some of other everybody else's reviews, was something that I had a bit of an issue with at first too. And they're like, sometimes you get a little bleed through where it'll kind of start to want to beat fast or turn red on another circuit. Take your time, patience is key. <laughs> the old guns and roses, so anyway. So up and down the panel and go slow and then take your time. And when it starts beating faster, take your time and get cycled or dialed right in. I think there are some panels out there that are just I don't know exactly why there's some bleed through with electricity or whatever it happens to be, but <clears throat> they just won't, this won't dial in on them. But that seems to be in the absolute minority. This worked great for me. You go on Amazon, check this guy out. 4.7 stars out of nearly 10,000 reviews. That should speak for itself. You know, the only, the only downside was once in a while, somebody would say, I can't get it to no, cycle in on the exact circuit breaker. And, and that was, I think, due to impatience. Now, when I picked this guy up on Amazon, it was kind of a funny suggestion for other, other tools or accessories. You know, when you buy this, it says others bought these as well. Well, the two things that were suggested were a screw-in adapter to a light socket to turn it into a plug and a two-pronged to three-pronged adapter. And I thought, huh, I don't need those. What, that has got to be the oddest, most awkward combination of, of tools. I said, it must've just been something random. Well, let me tell you, <laughs> buy yourself both of those products. I'll put links to them in the description as well, along with these, but never thought about this. How are you gonna test light sockets? Because of course, in a lot of houses, just your lights are on their own circuit. 
What do you need? You need to screw in one of those socket adapters that give you a plug. Normally they're only a two prong uh, piece. So then get a two to three prong adapter, plug it in, plug this guy in, and then you can test all your lights. <clears throat> I ended up doing it the old fashioned way, turning them on, turning them off and finding them that way through you know process of elimination. But that's it. Get yourself a couple of those and pick out maybe an afternoon to do this when nobody's home. So you, you know, if you get mad and you start swearing, it's okay. I'll throw a little footage in here of me using this, how it actually works and tests. But again, when it came time to buy this second piece of equipment for electrical, I knew I had to go with Klein Tools. Klein makes a wonderful electrical testing equipment. The first piece I bought was an electrical tester pen. It, it does from, anyway, up, it tests any 120 volt circuit to make sure if it's live or dead or whatever. And that thing is a literal lifesaver. It saved me time and probably saved me bodily harm at some point. It was absolutely worth getting. So I ended up picking this guy up next and this has not disappointed either. So if you got a couple of circuits you need to test or just you know an entire panel that hasn't been labeled or if you're a handyman like I am running your handyman business, pick one of these up. It'll pay for itself on the first go around. All right, that's it for me this week, guys. If you wanna, well, if you like my content, Two reviews a week here, plus three episodes of the Workshop Podcast. Most of them are live streamed. They deal with in all aspects of living a prepared life. So hit that subscribe button, stick around. And if you want to know more about who I am, quickest way, toolmantim.co. Run by there. You'll find all my social media links. You'll find the shop where I have way over 100 products that I've used and abused in my handyman business. Stuff that's made me money or saved me money. Bunch of different categories. We got hand tools, painting tools, cordless tools, and my favorite, prepping gear. So run by there, check that out. And guys, as always, stay happy, stay healthy, and have a great week.